Hey guys, Ben here from Ben's Guide. Today I'm out and about in Derby. I'm taking my gear with me. I've got my Canon R6 24-105mm to RF lens, which is f4. I've got my 70-300, probably the best budget telephoto zoom lens you can get. Check them out. And I've got my Canon RP with me as well, which I'm just taking as backup, really, in case anything goes wrong. You never know, do you? Now, it's been locked down, but it's not locked down anymore. So I think things are going to be different today. And here we are. We're in the city of Derby today, like I said. And you can see that things are a little bit more busy. There's a lot more going on. There's more people walking around. And I don't mind when there's a few more people. It's when it's really busy. I'm not too keen. But let me just take a photo straight down the high street here at Derby. You can see for yourself, there's quite a few people which are walking around right now. I've never photographed in Derby before. This is my first time. And I'd only spent 10 minutes walking around and I'd already seen that this is not really the big city vibe that I was kind of hoping for. I was hoping for some like really high skyscraper style buildings, but there's still potentially some areas which I could photograph and get some nice photos off. So here I am starting up. I've got in the distance, this really nice building, which has got this dome shaped ceiling, which I thought is different. Might as well get a photo of it. And I wanted to wait for some people to walk down. So I've got them to balance out the image. Now, when you're struggling to find things to shoot when you're out doing street photography, sometimes it can be a good idea to just look for different things. And something that really stood out to me was a performer in the distance. I've got this juggler, which I could see, and I thought, I'm going to get a photo of you. So I decided to walk down the street here, and I always like to ask these people if you can take a photo of them so you don't startle them, and especially this guy. I mean, he might drop whatever he's juggling and that could be bad for him uh, he's not going to get as much money as he so i decided that i was going to just come around the side sneakily and then ask him if i could take a photo of him now he was absolutely fine with the idea so i decided to just take a few snaps and then i realized that my composition wasn't right and then this woman was walking down which balanced the image really nicely Honestly, I was about 15 minutes in and already struggling to get any photos. And I thought, well, this, <laughs> this is not a good start. So I decided to just walk around a little bit more and then look for any light which might be capturing uh, parts of buildings. And just as you would have it, there was this building here, which was led by this leading line on the right hand side into the distance. And the light was on it. It made a really nice black and white photo. I actually really quite like this photo. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you ever stare at a spot when you're out doing street photography? You don't really know how you're going to compose it yet, but it's kind of, it feels like it could be a good shot. Well, that's kind of what I was doing here. I was looking at this spot for a while and thinking, I'm going to take a photo here, but I just don't know yet how I'm going to compose it. So I decided to come back in a moment with a fresh perspective on it. Now, just as I walked around the corner, I noticed this lovely building which was curving round into the distance. This was going to work definitely. So I decided to get my composition right here, shooting at F8. I lined up my focus point in the middle of the building and then just fired away. Now, I'm actually using one of my street presets on this photo. I really like this one. If you want to check them out, the link is in the description. Here we go. So this is the corner that I was kind of unsure about. Please move out the way, ladies. And eventually they did. And then I just wanted to get this guy walking towards. It's got this kind of like New Orleans vibe to it. I really like this photo. When I'm walking around, I'm always looking for things like signs. They can make nice compositions, nice photos. And this parking sign was nice. 
I thought if I can get a little bit of the foreground, a little bit of the background, and then compose this in the middle, then it would draw your eye right to it in the photo. And it did that. I actually think it worked pretty well. You're also looking at the arrow thinking, what else could be around there? Well, you will find out in a minute. Sometimes you'll get the opportunity to take what I call as the postcard photo, which is just a normal snap that anyone would take, but sometimes it's nice to get it. These two buildings converging into the building at the end. So what's around the corner, guys? Well, let's take a look. Now, I had to be really careful here not to seem like the stalkerish type with the camera as these two women were walking around and I started following them. But there was something I wanted to photograph down here. You see that flickering light and then that graffiti? Oh, yeah. Now, that may not look like much to you, but this is going to make a really nice photo and it ended up being one of my favourite of the day. It gives it that really nice back alley kind of seedy vibe which you'd see in some kind of 1980s American film and I decided to use another one of my street presets to give it that moody vibe even a little bit more now when you're struggling to take photos things aren't popping out like they hopefully should do then sometimes you just have to think outside the box and I noticed this bus rail leading down here and I thought hey this could potentially be a nice leading line if I could balance the image it felt a little bit wonky and like it wasn't balanced very well so first I decided to try and balance it with these people coming towards the photo that didn't feel right so then I thought mm, maybe I'll leave it but then I noticed my dad was just looking around I thought maybe I can balance the photo with him so back to the rail I head and I decided to try and make it work one more time. Now, just as he leant perfectly really against the wall, I decided to try and compose it. So I've got him in the middle of the photo and it looks pretty good. It's not the best photo and it's still not balanced perfectly, but it's definitely not too bad. I love bright buildings like this. It reminds me of the seaside places like Brighton. And it just gives it a real fresh feeling to the city. So I knew I was going to take just a snap of these buildings here that have got like this terracotta or pink look to them. Once again, how do you balance the image? How do you compose it correctly? It's a tricky one. So I decided to just try and balance it with the building on the left slightly and with some people walking towards the photo. Now, I love things like this, where you've got these tall buildings and you've got a narrow alley. This makes usually great photos. The reason for this is because you've got a long leading line into the distance, which draws your eye through the image. And then you've got these long high buildings at the side, which just brings these really nice converging lines. And at the end, there was light, or as we say, light at the end of the tunnel. So I decided to take this picture and this is how it turned out. Now I'd already made one kind of lap of the city after about 25 minutes. It's quite a small city centre, but I saw this archway here and I noticed there was a bit of light coming through. And I thought if I could capture just the arch and the top of this, then it would be quite a nice photo to get because you've just got this kind of nice, almost misty light at the end of the archway. I'd enjoyed walking around Derby, taking photos. But if I'm completely honest, this hasn't been my favourite day of street photography. It's felt a bit like a struggle. And I'd only ended up spending about 35 minutes walking around, just taking a few snaps. There is one image that I'm about to capture in a minute, which I actually really liked and is probably my favourite of the day because it's got a story behind it. In lockdown, we've all found ourselves feeling a little bit fed up, even depressed for some people, of course, because they can't see people. And it's natural to want to see people. So some people have actually just been spending more time in nature. 
And in this busy, bustling city where everything seems to be heading back to normal, I noticed this guy who was just looking at these plants in the grass under this lovely, bright blossom tree. And it just felt it t- told a bit of a story of how things have changed in lockdown and how we're appreciating the little things in life a little bit more now, like nature. So just enjoy this photo at the end of this guy looking at the flowers. I want to thank you guys for joining me in the video today. It's always great to have you. Hit that subscribe button, of course, if you haven't joined the channel yet. I'd love to have you. And whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, make sure it's a good one. And I'll see you in the next video.